came as soon as I could, native plants. You told me about the Salt Cedar Bandits, a group of salt cedars that are scouring the countryside, searching and hunting down every native plant they find. Where are you? Are you hiding from these villains? I will teach you not to hide, but to fight back. Invasive plants are a threat to biodiversity, causing great economic and ecological harm. I spied one of the terrible salt cedar bandits lurking nearby. It was time to answer the plea for help from Mesquite, a Riparian native. Hello, my friend. Thank you for texting me. I came as soon as I could. The salt cedar bandits is what he texted me about. Are a group of salt cedars that are scouring the countryside, destroying and pushing out all the native plants in their path. You, Mesquite, are a deciduous tree with a long taproot. He is drought-resistant, and you were spread by cattle. You are El Paquito right now, but you will grow El Grande. You can grow to about a normal tree size. You make great barbecue wood, but we won't tell him. Thank you for your tweet, my friend Cottonwood, with hashtag down with invasives. It was long like you and got cut off 140 characters, but I got what you meant. You needed my help to defeat the salt cedar bandits, but have no fear, I will whack them with my sombrero. You are a popular in the willow family. You are a deciduous tree and you like a riparian habitat. Moist soils along river or stream bed. You can easily regrow from cuttings and you have a thick base. But sadly, you are short lived, though you grow quite quickly. But we will make the most of you, and we will use it to fight the invasive plants, especially the salt cedar. Here's another one of those tamarisk bandits with their long tap roots and lateral roots that consume enormous quantities of groundwater. I must enlist more aid. You, sir, use this stick to give Tamaris the business. How about this one? That's a better stick. Tamaris, you, salt cedar. I sized up my foe, a highly aggressive invasive that started as an ornamental from Asia and the Mediterranean, escaped cultivation and became a massive threat in the 1920s, spreading through the arid southwest watersheds. They are fire adapted and in addition to spreading vegetatively, they have incredibly small seeds that can disperse easily in the wind and readily establish new areas of infestation. Since they produce seed throughout the growing season, they have an advantage over less prolific native species. Large-scale herbicidal and mechanical control programs are costly and take years to implement. Tamarisk plants take so much and give so little. This ends now. What's that? How did a salt cedar get a six-shooter? You think you got me, Tamarisk? Ah, but I beg to differ. This protected me! And with the native plants fighting you, you will end up in my plant press. With Tamarisk defeated, we had a fiesta. The native plants lived simply and shared with me what they had. Who knew mesquite produced so many beans? Thank you, my friend, but I cannot eat another one. Oh, well, just one more. 